We'll start with the basics. The handset. The keypad. The speaker. And the voicemail message waiting indicator. The lines view is your phone's default display. They allow you to select a phone line, view calls on a shared line, or quickly call a contact listed as a favorite. The home view is displayed by pressing the home key. From here, you can initiate new calls and access your messages, directories, do not disturb, call forwarding features, and the phone's settings and applications. For example, if you want to see a list of the available settings and options, using the navigation arrows, choose settings, then press the select button in the center of the navigation arrows. Next, select the basic option. This option lets you configure your preferences, backlight intensity, backlight timeout, and ring type. For best results, adjust the default line. Please note, it is recommended not to adjust the attendant call's ringer. Finally, there are the feature keys. The ones you'll use most often are the home key, the headset key, the speakerphone key, the mute key, the transfer button, and the hold button. To place a call, dial the number, then pick up the handset, or press the speakerphone or headset key, or press the green dial button on the display to call the number. Depending on your preference, there are multiple ways to answer an incoming call. To answer a call with your handset, simply lift the receiver to connect to the call. To answer a call via speakerphone, press the speakerphone button. To answer a call via headset feature, press the headset button. Additionally, you can press the answer soft key to receive the call. When selected, it answers the call using your speakerphone. To answer an incoming call when you're already on an active call, press the answer soft key. Your first call is automatically placed on hold. To retrieve your first call, use the navigation arrows to scroll down to that call. Then press the resume soft key. To put an active call on hold, press the hold button or the hold soft key. To resume the call, press the hold button again or the resume soft key. Please note, if you have the music on hold option assigned to your profile, calling parties put on hold hear music while they wait for you to return to the call. If you have more than one call on hold, using the navigation arrows, select the call you wish to reconnect with and press the resume soft key. To place a call on mute while on an active call, press the mute button. The caller is no longer able to hear what you are saying. To unmute a caller, press the mute button again. A blind or unannounced transfer takes place when you transfer a call to someone else without announcing the call first. To blind transfer a call while on an active call, press the speed dial or transfer button and proceed to dial a 10-digit number or extension and press send. The call is transferred immediately. Consulted or announced transfer is performed when you announce the call to the recipient prior to transferring the call. To conduct a consulted transfer while on an active call, press the transfer button or soft key and select consultative. Next, Enter the destination to which you wish to transfer the call and press the send soft key. The caller is automatically placed on hold. Once the receiving party answers, announce the call. To complete the transfer, press the transfer button or soft key again. A direct to voicemail transfer is performed when you wish to transfer a call directly to another user's voicemail. To do this while on an active call, press the transfer button or soft key. Next, press the pound key followed by the recipient's extension number. Finally, press the send button to complete the transfer to voicemail. To initiate a three-way conference call while on an active call, press the more soft key. Then, press the conference soft key. The first call is then held. Dial the second number. When the second party answers, Press the more soft key, then press the conference soft key again to connect the calls. 
The Do Not Disturb DND feature is used to silence all incoming calls. The DND button may work differently depending on how your administrator configured your extension. For instance, in some cases when you enable DND, it impacts incoming calls not only to your desk phone, but also to your other connected devices. We recommend consulting your provider for details. Additional charges may apply for this feature. By default, calls that are not answered go to voicemail. To forward calls to a destination other than voicemail, enable call forwarding. You can enable call forwarding from the home button on your 450 phone or use the COM portal to activate this feature. Options include Call forwarding always, which forwards all incoming calls to a specified forward to destination. Call forwarding no answer, which only forwards calls if you do not answer after a set period of time. Call forwarding busy, which only forwards calls when the do not disturb feature is enabled or if your line is busy. To park a call while on an active call, press the park button. The call is automatically parked. Parked calls can be retrieved from any phone within the office. To retrieve a parked call, press the park button. You can view your recent call history and place calls from your call history lists or by using the navigation arrows. Use down to access your call lists. Missed calls are the first screen to show. To change between your different call lists, press the Type Soft key, choose the list you wish to view and press Select. To dial a number, find the desired number, then press the Dial Soft key. Please note, your provider may have pre-programmed a button for call logs, which is displayed in the bottom left corner of your screen. To set up your voicemail for the first time, press the Voicemail button. You are prompted to set up your voicemail PIN. Record your name and then record your no answer greeting. After these steps are completed, you're ready to use your voicemail. A red message waiting indicator light notifies you when you have a new voicemail message. To check your messages, press the voicemail button. Enter your voicemail passcode followed by the pound key. If you forget your voicemail passcode, please contact your system administrator to have it reset. Please note, to retrieve your voicemail outside of the office, simply call your direct dial number. When your voicemail greeting plays, interrupt it by pressing star. You are prompted to enter your voicemail password, followed by the pound key. 